I'm definitely not gonna tip him because what am I tipping? Gosh, I feel like I sound so snobbish right now, but I feel like. So I'm just walking from the um the bus stop. I followed the aid that my lady got for today. And I will tell you, a different aide came yesterday and she said she's not coming back. But she said the reason why she wasn't coming back was because she's going to Dominican Republic today. I don't know. The one today said she's not coming back Monday because one, it is too far from her house. And the hours are like just a little bit because this just gives her four hours. So she said she didn't like that it was just four hours. She felt like she was wasting her time. So she's not going to be coming back. And... For the most part already that seems to be a trend with all of the people like the hours that they're getting is not that much so because it's not that much they don't want to leave their homes to come for just four hours so most of them don't end up coming back and my lady i'm not gonna lie she's a little bit all over the place she screams and shouts and tells you everything is not working but i already know how to deal with her because i've been dealing with her for so long and these people are older people so these people also don't even want to be bothered dealing with all of that so it's quite the struggle so i just followed her to the bus stop because i remember how hard it was for me to figure it out when i came oh some good pompous grass <laughs> i remember i had to be figuring out like where the bus stops were and stuff like that but obviously i'm younger and i'm more tech savvy and so I was able to maneuver my way on Google Maps, but I don't think she's able to do that. Like, she's trying and everything, but she just honestly does not really get it to do all of that. So I walked with her to the bus stop and she's going home. So that was good. And now I'm going back to just chill and wait for the groceries to be delivered because I bought some groceries that should last her for about two weeks. No, she eats like a man, so I'm waiting for Key Foods to deliver that. When I came, the lady genuinely looked like she was, she was so relieved to just have somebody else there because one, she doesn't know anything about her, so she doesn't know her abilities, like the fact that she can walk by herself and little things like that. So she was nervous. And then I was so comfortable just coming and saying, oh, she's okay, she's fine. She just does that. So I felt bad for her. Organized. Today we're gonna make some steam snapper with carrots, these, and broccoli. I put this on there. Absolutely love this. This is the closest thing to home right now. So we're gonna use this and we have it seasoned up. I'm gonna leave it for a little minute and then come back. Guys, I did not even show y'all everything like cut up. I was busy making a video for TikTok, but that's what it looks like seasoned. Then in the pot, there's butter and stuff, and this is the broccoli seasoned because the broccoli should not taste like trees. We're gonna steam those. 
my lady fell yesterday so right now i'm leaving out super early to make sure that i will get the train to go there early because i don't know if uh, the aides from the agency will be there today because there has been none for the last two days and because of that she fell in the morning time where there should have been an aide there so i need to get there i just called her and i also need to call the agency because they really have to figure out if they're going to be sending somebody or not because they can't just not show up and i'm working off of when they do show up so i'm going with the impression that all right they're going to be coming there so we will go later in the day and if they're not coming then i need to know that so i can make arrangements to be there earlier so i definitely need to call them to oh i feel like i'm sprinting because i can't walk slow so i need to call them to figure that out but for the meantime i'm headed there now and i'm so nervous so i made sure that i called her to let her know i'm on my way do not leave the apartment she said okay so we're headed there since yesterday after doing like the smallest amount of walk i felt so tired because i'm not walking as much as i used to so i really need to figure that out and need to get back in the gym honestly hi y'all so i just got to my ladies and i just ended up deciding to uber this morning because i haven't ubered all week one and two yesterday when i was going home i saw that the trains were pretty much saying that you know it's gonna pretty much be bad service so i'm like i cannot do this i'm gonna just uber but i'm not even uber let's not drag uber into this i took a lift right and when i tell you the lift that i was in was absolutely disgusting like why is it so dirty it was so dirty and i'm gonna pop a video here so you guys can see there's like in the little center console he has like his pills and or it was just dirty and i was just sitting in the one little spot that i sat in when i went in there and i didn't even touch anything my bag was in my lap because i just felt like you know if your car is so dirty it just makes me feel like your home is not clean to and not that the home has anything to do with me but this is just a terrible representation of you this is your business and you know when you're in a lift it gives you the option to like rate what the car is like or whatever the case is and i could not sit there and fake the funk and act as if the car was clean because i was so disgusted when i went in there however i you know i'm definitely not gonna tip him because what am i tipping gosh i feel like i sound so snobbish right now but i feel like i like a good experience you know a clean experience and that was not it at all i'm sitting by the windows i'm so distracted by everything that's going on outside anyways i just got here and i'm gonna um i just gave her yogurt because she's not really a big breakfast person so i just gave her yogurt and then in a little bit i'll probably give her some cheerios she likes cheerios in the mornings i'm definitely giving her a shower today because the lady that was here yesterday, she was fighting with her, not wanting to take a shower. She was like, oh, I can wait until tomorrow. But normally, that is what she does. When she knows that I'm coming, she will not allow them to give her a shower or anything like that. So I'm going to give her a shower because the last time she took one, the other lady had given it to her. So I'm going to do that and maybe a little bit after I'll give her some cereal. And um, yeah, I feel like that's pretty much it. I'm going to be here until 5 p.m. It's 9 o'clock. <laughs> So I'm pretty much going to be here all day.